Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn. We're here celebrating Act 2 with our short and sweet series. Now with that short and sweet series, you get one exercise tip that's short and actionable and one nutritional tip that's sweet and actionable. And today, we're going to start the action with an exercise that helps us walk straight and keep our knees from collapsing inward. Now that's a good idea. <laughs> you guessed it, we're working on our gluteus medius. Our glute meat has a tremendous effect on our body strength, like the strength of your core. The glute meat helps to support you when you're doing your compound movements, and it helps prevent muscle imbalances, which later leads to mobility issues. Not a good idea. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Now we're going to get into that squat position, so abs are engaged, our legs are a little wider than our shoulders, our toes go out about 15 degrees, just a little bit out. We're going to hinge those hips back, you're going to bring those shoulder blades down the back, your chest is proud, your glutes are out there and your abs are in. Okay, we're going to stay there. Now we're just going to stay there. Now we're just going to switch that weight over to your left leg, my right, and we're just going to take this other leg in and out. Now you notice I don't have any weight on this foot going in and out. All my weight is back here on my gluteus medius. You got it. You got it. I want to get that nice and strong so it holds us up and so our knees don't collapse inwards. I think that's a good idea. No, I'm not counting. I don't know where we're at, but we're going to stop because we have another side to go on. So we're going to stay on this side. We're going to switch it over, put all the work in that standing leg, and that other leg goes in and out. Now we're just touching that toe out. No weight on that. And our abs are engaged, holding our body up. This is a great position to be in, and you'll feel that burn back there in that little dimple. And this will help you hold that up and hold that back nice and strong, your core, whole bunch of things. So it's really important to work those muscles, okay? Good. Now, I'm ready for our nutritional tip. <laughs> so our nutritional tip today is about how the food we eat metabolizes in our body. So what does that mean? Well, when we eat food, the food moves, the, uh, the body changes that into energy. That's metabolizing. And then when it burns, it leaves an ash. Now the idea is that we don't want um, too much acid in our blood, uh, so our pH level wants to be more alkaline than acidic. Now the jury is still out on what is best in terms of food, but let's take a look at some of these things. Alkaline foods like fruits and vegetables are really high in fiber and antioxidants, and we know these foods are excellent for your health. We also know that they do a big job in reducing the risk of disease. Now acidic foods like white flour, processed foods, sugar, dairy, and meat, we know those can cause problems, but the whole idea, like I say, is to keep that blood pH level a little more uh, alkaline than acidic. But here's the rub. Some foods are extremely healthy for you, like walnuts and blueberries, and they are in the, guess what, acidic food group. The net net. It's all about eating whole, real, simple foods that are unprocessed, natural, just as they grow, and you can't beat that. All right, now you know I love giving you these tips. You can polish up that temple and do the exercises and activities that you love doing in a body that does them well in. I'll see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.